started a new type of playlist round trip videos if you want to check it out the playlist link is down in the description what it is this will take a load of scrap to the scrap yard and then on the way home i do some scavenging end up here a little round trip action see how we do Take some of this mess in. All right, here it's all spread out. I got two batteries with me. I'm gonna have to take those up to the battery shop after this. Got the stainless steel pan bucket with a bunch of short steel in it, a bunch of nuts and bolts. I got some more short steel over here. Makes a nice little container for it. This will have to go as tin shred instead of steel because see how it's got that rubber gasket deal in there. I might be able to get that out if I really wanted to. Anyways, got some aluminum here. And some more aluminum here. Get this frying pans and little uh, carpet strips. Uh, aluminum handle. Aluminum blinds. Little aluminum water bottle. And I got a bucket of cans over here. Thing of tin shed. Got like a whole vacuum cleaner motor, soup can, grill spatula, fan that didn't work. It's all the, what they say they call that? Uh, M80 or what they, someone was telling me in the comments what they call those. A uh, little sport muffler deal. Cherry bomb. They're saying I call them cherry bombs. I got some uh, shocks in there, some calculator, an old stereo, that kind of stuff. And then over here, I've got a little bucket of brass. This is a kick plate off a door, and then a little plumbing off the bottom of a sink down there. And this is exciting an empty bucket. I got some dirty brass. I might go dirty brass on this big plug. I throw the other plugs in here. They don't really have a category for them. And a little, that'll go as electric motor. That's out of a television. And I think that's gonna do it. Let's see what it's all worth here. Twelve dollars twenty-two cents. All right, let's get the get this part of the video over with, and then uh, well, I'll see you up at the battery shop, I guess. Forty-six pounds. This is uh, forty-six pounds times twenty cents nine dollars twenty cents so all together that was twenty one dollars and forty two cents is that right something like that big chicken Nice heavy duty aluminum. Usually I'll bust the, bust the glass. Well, I was gonna say maybe free tail store, but that's a good piece of scrap. So. Never mind. What I was gonna say is I usually just bust the glass out of there, but these ones I can get a hold of. So uh, this is all aluminum, but look at this. These little knobs are brass, actually. 
aluminum. This might be brass as well. Let's see. Oh, that's aluminum. Come on, I ain't got time to mess with you on radio. There we go. Little brass nugget. They need it to be strong because it's going to be like a steel bolt. Actually, that might be a brass bolt. It is a brass bolt on there as well. Aluminum will get real weak when it comes to being on brass and steel. So, yuck, ooh, yuck, I touched it. Gross, yuck, that's sick. I didn't realize what I was doing. <laughs> Ugh, yuck. dishwasher in there it's a decent little motor on the bottom of that dishwasher not gonna mess with that once upon a time i'd get it but get ahead of the game a little bit these videos help a lot as far as making a little extra money so let's get down the road try to show you as much as possible in this video So I left the battery shop right about five o'clock or so. And uh, to get home, it's about 15, 20 minutes straight drive. And I'm working myself home doing this. We'll see how long it takes to get filled up and get back home. Big chicken. Filled in nicely this year. heavy piece of aluminum staircase number four went in for those of you that saw that video a while back I don't know if they're saving that or not. It looks like garbage, but oh well. Video a while back, there was one of the old staircases set next to that dumpster. Looks like they're doing the last one. Looks like a neat painting. <laughs> so 
Somebody got squished by the dumpster. manager cleaned out someone's apartment those clothes that you see there they look kind of nice but they're really stinky <laughs> nasty foul stench on them so we don't have smell of vision yet so i better explain that there's a brand new burger king shirt normally i wouldn't take that but i'm going by burger king later so maternity short sleeve shirt Throw that by Burger King. They might want that back. What do you think? Maybe I'll get a free French fry or something. up this little toaster oven earlier I don't know how exciting that is put it on camera with this painting I'm gonna put that in a free tail store people snatch that up no paint over them
Must be the heat. It's starting to get stinky. This is an unused video. I think it's unused anyway. I've heard that people will buy these just to get the ink tanks out of them. <laughs> I think that's the case on that one. somebody's tackle box or something in there is it yours is it yours no i own the building but yeah, no. the you don't mind if i do this do you yeah, what do you think's in it i have no idea dude mystery box action probably drum roll some, probably some tools drum roll please oh he's gonna come from Oh, told you. <sighs> there you go. What's, what that? I'm good, dude. You can have any of this you want. There's That's a, good stuff in there, man. Knife and shit in there. You want any of that? That's all you, brother. I'm probably gonna just scrap most of it. You want some? I got plenty of tools. It's a nice little toolbox. Yeah. yeah. Nice little crescent ranch in there. You're finding you anything, actually? Sure. If I find anything, what? Yeah. You're finding anything worth. Worth much? It looks like you got a toaster oven back here. Nah, it's just scrap metal. Oh, is that what you, you collect and scrap? Yeah, if it's just junk, I just scrap it. Down or up? They're down. Yeah, fine stuff. What kind of stuff are you looking for? Oh, I'm dumping that. Oh, yeah, man, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff people throw away. Oh, yeah. You want me to close that lid? Nah, you live it up. You own this place? Uh huh. You're awfully young to be an owner. I own that too. <laughs> must, be a, you must be a go getter. Well, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of what kind of money they bring in they want? The building in the front is one bed, and they rent anywhere from eight fifty to nine seventy five. Ten units. Yeah, and then the the townhomes in the back are thirteen. Oh, that whole big old thing. Yeah, wow. there's, there's a building in the back. I'm actually about to duplicate that. I'm building that same thing right next door to those townhomes right there. Nice. There. Nice. One steel one. That must that's kinda of strange. Two aluminum wheels and a steel wheel.
believe it or not that's like a 20 dollar bottle right there uh, it's kind of dirty on this side so i'm just going to take it to the scrap yard but i've got a couple of those at home i found i think they're new they're unused anyway those are nice little bottles and then i found this little versa shade parts included i can feel the rod in there in the middle roman shade pocket roman shade top roman shade, standard roman shade whatever that means That's gonna wrap it up. I found a few other things you may have saw there. Some pieces of scrap. Probably didn't see that guy back there. Some other pieces of junk in there. That movie projector screen might have some decent value to it. That's one of the nicer ones I found. That's, a, that's about a seven footer or so, anyway. But it's real clean and nice. Have to check that out. I don't see anything wrong with it. Mount holes are nice. That, that might be the gem of the video. I'll have to price it. I've never really priced them before. But uh, anyways. Um, what time is it? Let's see, I said I'd say what time it was. 7.55 so that's 2 hours 55 minutes after I left the battery shop I absorbed a pretty lengthy little dry spell in there but uh, covered a lot of ground nothing fantastic but it's uh, not a bad little session I don't think there is such thing as a bad session if you're willing to put in some time but uh I sure hope you enjoyed the show. Talk about this, how dangerous it is, but also how cheap it is. I've spent less than $700 in two years I've owned it on gas, insurance, everything under $700 for two years transportation. But I'll talk about that in that video. And then I'm setting up a video here We've got some wire going. I'm seeing how much wire I can carry. And then I got all that aluminum back there. Probably take that to the scrapyard down the street here one of these days. And uh, <sighs> that's it. 
hope you enjoyed it as always thanks for watching